Alright, yo, what's good everyone? It's a Wonsy fan. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. Today's video, guys, is a very, very uh, important video and it's very uh, important to me and just to my family and everything, guys. And uh, basically, guys, today's video is going to be all about my heart surgery that I just had. Uh, it's actually been two weeks now and I'm really late to filming this video, but I've just been procrastinating like crazy. But anyway, guys, uh, we're going to be talking about my heart surgery today and uh, what exactly I was diagnosed with and uh, how I got it fixed. All the good stuff, guys. But anyway, guys, hope you guys are excited, guys. Uh, I'm finally back to YouTube so so happy to be back to the YouTube family and uh, I've been really 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 active on Instagram lately so I will be linking my Instagram as well as the squad's Instagram down below guys but anyway guys I will see you guys in the video let's go Alright everyone, so about two months ago, um, well actually no, it hasn't been really two months, but it's probably been, so we officially kind of like thought something was wrong six months ago, and I went to go get my sports physical for school, because as you guys may know, uh, I uh, love to play basketball, and I'm actually a distance runner, and I do a lot of competitive uh, running and that kind of stuff, and uh, basically uh, I had to go get a sports physical for uh, school so that, you know, uh, they made sure I was healthy and everything, and uh, I remember guys, we were so lucky that we found out, because I remember the very very last uh, thing that we talked about was any other thing that I had been feeling and I had been complaining of palpitations and a palpitation is basically like a, uh, a feeling where uh, like your heart skips a beat sort of so like like uh, your heart will be beating dun 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 and all of a sudden it would kind of just like stop and then start going and I had been complaining of that I had been having that a little bit it was just like a kind of a weird feeling it didn't really affect me but you know it was just kind of an odd feeling and I had told the doctor about it and he said "Ooh, well maybe we should go ahead and get that checked out so then basically about uh, a month later after that, the doctor uh, had told us to go uh, get something called an EKG or an echocardiogram where they basically uh, just, uh, it's kind of like an, uh, it's kind of like, it's not really an x-ray, but it's basically where they uh, put uh, these like little like electronic lead things on, on your chest and on your body, your arms, your legs, and, uh, and then they kind of record uh, your pulses. So I had one on my, uh, on multiple parts of my chest, on my thighs and that kind of stuff. And uh, basically they recorded that and it actually came back abnormal. So with it coming back like normal, that basically meant that um, uh, there was something wrong with uh, the way that my heartbeat was or there was something wrong with the uh, machine itself. And uh, one of the doctors went ahead and was like, oh, well, maybe uh, we should go ahead and do a different one at a different hospital so that uh, it might be a little bit more accurate since this was like a more um, like uh, accurate machine and that kind of stuff. So uh, they wanted to do a more accurate test and uh, really see what was going on. Let me go ahead and zoom the camera out a little bit. Yeah, there we go. All right, uh, on with the show. All right, so basically we came back and uh, we had done a more accurate EKG where we basically, uh, they went in and did a more accurate test and uh, that came back abnormal again. And that was really when the doctors were like, oh man, uh, this is actually kind of concerning. We should probably look more into this and do a more uh, in-depth kind of more like x-ray like test. And uh, that is when they did an uh, cardiac MRI on me. And uh, in case you guys are wondering, an MRI is basically like a magnetic um, x-ray where basically it's like less radiation, so it's a little bit safer. And uh, you know, for a younger person and stuff like that. So uh, basically they did the MRI and uh, it was a three hour process actually. It was really long, really daunting. I was laying down in the big machine three whole hours. It was really long, but I got Dairy Queen after, so it was pretty good. But anyway, uh, basically, it was a really long process, and uh, we ended up, uh, after that, uh, they didn't really tell me much about, like, what that really meant, like, what had come back with the MRI and that kind of stuff. Uh, all they told me was that my heart was, like, beating, like, really hard, and it was, like, a really strong or whatever, which I didn't really, understood with, uh, really understand what that meant. But uh, then eventually uh, we did another uh, echocardiogram, which is where they take, it's like an ultrasound where they take the little thing and they run it across my chest uh, with the little uh, gel stuff. And then they uh, kind of, it's kind of hard to explain, but basically it was like a sort of like a ultrasound or like um, x-ray-ish thing. And that is when they uh, saw that I had a hole in my right atrium. And that is how they made the diagnosis that I was, uh, that I was a candidate for an atrial septal defect. All right, uh, quick intermission. I, I've been editing the video and I just now realized that uh, for some reason the last two clips, the audio did not uh, render properly uh, when I was converting the clips. So uh, I don't know why. I think it's a glitch. I really don't know what is wrong. But uh, so if the audio is a little bit quiet, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, I tried to crank it up as loud as I could uh, just with my audio mixer, but it didn't really, uh, it, could, it didn't get like super loud and not like to the normal level that my voice had already been uh, in the beginning of the video. But uh, so the last two clips might be a little bit quiet. I hope you guys understand. But uh, anyway, guys. Enjoy the rest of the video. 
Alright, so in case you guys are wondering, uh, basically an atrial septal defect that you guys can see on my screen right here uh, is basically an atrial septal defect or also known as an ASD, which is what they told me it was, is a hole in the wall or septum between the two upper chambers of your heart or atria. And uh, basically uh, the condition is present at birth or congenital and uh, small defects might be found uh, by chance and never cause a problem, but some small atrial de uh, septal defects can close during infancy or early childhood and that was not the case for me. Mine actually did not close. Uh, on its own because it was too large so basically imagine your heart and then imagine having like a hole in one in in between your heart that's basically what I had I had a hole in between the top uh, two atrium uh, atrial uh, chambers of my heart and uh, it was causing me to have uh, what they call shunting which is basically where um, you have like uh, the, so my right side of my heart was actually getting bigger than my left side and it was actually causing my heart to uh, work harder than it, my the right side of my heart to work harder than it needed to do and uh, basically uh, that meant that the left uh, that the blood on the left side was actually shunting over to the right side which was causing my right side of my heart to be uh, too hard and to have problems and if I wouldn't have uh, gotten this fixed now then it could have been a serious problem for me in the future when I was like 50 60 and my heart could have should have uh, could have stopped uh, could have started failing and uh, just eventually it would have just been done my heart would have exploded <laughs> No, but seriously, my heart wouldn't have actually exploded, uh, but eventually, if we wouldn't have found out about this sooner, uh, then uh, my heart would have eventually uh, stopped working the same, and I would have had to, uh, I would, my life would have been a lot different. And I'm just so, so thankful for uh, for just the blessings that I have to have been able to uh, find out about this, and just, I'm so, so happy that uh, we found out and that we got it uh, fixed now, and that it's not a problem anymore, and uh, that, uh, so uh, we got it fixed, and I'm two weeks into my recovery. I can't do sports until uh, next year, or eighth grade which is kind of unfortunate for me because I really really like sports but honestly I'm willing to do anything that I can and everything that I can to uh, you know get healthier and uh, just get better again guys and I just love you guys so much I'm so so thankful for all the support we got a ton of support on Instagram uh, when I was posting about my heart surgery I'm just so so thankful for all you guys hope you guys have had a great uh, kind of uh, school year and uh, quarantine guys uh, and really guys, uh, that's what today's video is about. I am just so, so thankful. I just want to say thank you to my family, to all the doctors, to you guys, to uh, my friends, to the squad, to everyone guys, to my best friends. I love you guys so, so much. And uh, really guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Hope you guys enjoyed my little story about my heart surgery and why I've been gone from YouTube for so long. But anyway guys, I'm going to be, uh, now that I'm back and healthy and we're in quarantine and I'm in school online right now, uh, I hopefully can produce more content and uh, I figured out a better way to be able to actually get the clips from my camera to my computer and it's way faster so I should be able to upload a lot more often but anyway guys I love you guys so much I will see you guys in the next video it's been your boy and peace out